everybody, this is Steven with Divine Mobile Home Central. Uh, today we are at Wayne Fryer Home Center in McClinney, Florida. Uh, today we are going to be touring the Charger. Charger is a three bedroom, two bathroom multi section or double wide. Uh, it's a 32 by 66. And the square footage is 1900. 58 square feet so before we go into the home i want to take you around the outside i just want you to get a real good feel for it you see it has this has an arch over the doorway right there which is very nice it also so let me take you around to the back uh one thing if you are new here be sure to subscribe to the channel i do mobile home tours and general manufactured home information so here's the back of the home. I just want you to get a real good feel for it. And if you like this video anytime, uh, be sure to hit that like button. It will definitely help with the algorithm of this YouTube channel. All right, let's go inside and take a look. And feel free to drop a comment below if you have any uh, questions or concerns about what I'm touring today. All right, let's go in. Hey, real quick disclaimer before starting the walkthrough tour. I do not work for the manufacturer or the dealer. I'm touring this home today based upon my bird's eye point of view or perspective. If you have any additional questions about final pricing or specifications for this manufactured home, both the dealer and manufacturer's website will be down in the description box below. Once you click on one of those two links, you'll be able to view their contact information and they'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. With that being said, let's continue the tour. Okay, this is really nice. Don't, let's see, let me turn on the light for y'all. Sorry about that, guys. Trying to do something here. I'm still getting used to using this gimbal, so. Uh, all right, well. All right, the light's on. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, this is a living room. Let me just turn around slowly so y'all can see. Very, very nice. All right, you have your living room here. Have nice, you have the two-tone colored walls. I like how they have the, um, the white and the dark blue right here. It's very, very nice. And this is actually wood trim right here. This is actually a two-piece drywall. It's not the full sheetrock, but instead of having the, you know, the seams run all the way down, you have that, so. Okay, I came in through this front door right here. Very nice, it has a nice stained glass. Very, very pretty. Okay, um, we have, there's a place right here for your entry table. For your entry table. You'll put you like a nice entry table there. You can put some flowers, you put a nice lamp, and um, whatever you want. So, it's whatever you want to do. This is your home, so. Um, let me turn around for you. Let me go slowly. Okay. Here's your living room. And as you can see, you have the air ducts in the ceilings throughout the entire house. So instead of having the vents in the floors, you have the vents in the ceilings for upflow. And of course for heating. So, okay. Alrighty. All right, so this is your kitchen. Beautiful kitchen. Love this kitchen. Let me stand back so you can see. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, you have your center island right here. You have your center island. Try to go slowly so you can get a good feel for it. OK, 
Okay. Okay, let me turn around. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, you have your kitchen right here. You have stainless steel appliances. Beautiful cabinetry. I'm, so, I'm sorry, it is kind of dark in here, but I have the flasher on my phone, so hopefully that helps a little bit. I love this countertop. Love this counter space right here. It's really, really nice. Okay. And I also love this backsplash. They did they pay, they paid close attention to detail with this backsplash. Absolutely gorgeous. And speaking of that, I'll actually have a um let's see, well, probably not this time. Okay, so they probably don't, they, more than likely, they usually would have a price on this paper, but you may have to call them for pricing, okay? So, I am sorry. All right, so you have your microwaves right here, the beautiful cabinetry, plenty of cabinet space. Yeah, this charger, this charger model is really nice. Let's see. Okay, so let me turn around. You have um, you got your sink right here. I love the sink. Absolutely gorgeous. You have your farm style sink. You got two pieces right here. Very, very deep sink. I can put my hand down here. It's very nice. I love this gooseneck faucet. Definitely a nice touch. Yep, it's very nice. Love this gooseneck faucet. See how it comes out? Very pretty. Okay, I love the not again, I love the the fact that it has a window over the kitchen sink where you can do the dishes. Very, very nice. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, here's the rest of the kitchen. Let me slowly pan the room so y'all can get a good feel for it. And this looks right over into the living room. Okay. Here's your dining room. Love this chandelier. Very, very nice. And this, this you could probably put like a, um, an eight seater right here. You could probably put like an eight seater dining room table right here. But you see it, this holds um, six seats. So, and then right here, I will, right here I would put like a, a nice buffet style uh, cabinet right here with all the nice decor and everything. Again, you see the two tone walls right here? This is not full sheet rock but it has the illusion of it so it's actually very nice okay let me turn around so i can get a good feel for this room okay right here you have your you actually have a, a patio door right here so if you wanted to add on a patio to this manufactured home, you could definitely do so. The option is there. So that's this right here, that's a very nice touch. Let me turn the camera around so I can get another good feel for this room. It's your dining room. Okay, I think I might have missed something in the kitchen. Let's go check, let's go check out this pantry space right here. I forgot, I didn't overlook that. But this is a charger by Live Oak Homes. Okay, so you have your farm style pantry door right here. Wow, this is, this pantry is huge, oh goodness. It's a very nice pantry. Hope you guys can see in here. I'm sorry it is kind of dark, but I do have my light on, so. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at this. This pantry goes all the way back in here. 
wow, this is real pretty. This is real nice. Let me turn around a little bit so y'all can see how big it is. This is a deep pantry, man. All right. Man, it's shelves for days in here. You can put all kinds of things in here. Very, very nice. Very nice. Okay, me do one more time of the pantry. That pantry goes all the way back in there. It goes all the way back in there. Okay. Hey, hey, and another thing, if you don't want anybody to look at your stuff, and see how messy it is in there, all you have to do is shut it. Okay, so let me get you one more good pan of the kitchen. With the center island, you got four bar stools right here. And you have the dining room. And that's a beautiful chandelier. Another thing I didn't point out, it has the can lights in the ceiling or recessed lighting. So that's very nice. All right, so let's go down here and take a look at the bedrooms. Let's go down here and take a look at the bedrooms. Here's your hallway. And I actually love these, I love this crown molding. The crown molding is very nice. Okay. Here's your first guest, here's your guest bathroom. Let me pan slowly so I can get a good feel for it. Has a nice countertop right here. Wooden, you know, the same kind of countertop that you see in the kitchen. Now, one thing I noticed about this bathroom, the cabinet itself is white. I like that. That's definitely very, very custom. Okay, you have your commode, of course. And you have your um, tub and shower combo. So let me pan slowly so I can get a good feel for it. Tub and shower combo. Oh, sorry about that, y'all. I'm using this gimbal, and I'm still trying to get used to using it, but there's your shower head. So hopefully this video is a little bit more stable for you. All right, that's the guest bathroom. It's down the hall. Let's move on to the first bedroom. Guest bedroom number one. Oh, this is nice. It has the blue walls in here. I like this. Let me turn around so I can get a good feel for this room. I don't know the exact size of these bedrooms, but I'll try to put a um, a size description in the in each uh, bedroom video or the bedrooms. So, but yep, this is a bedroom. Have your lights right here. You have the air vent in the ceiling. I love these blue walls. Absolutely love the blue walls. Now the carpet's actually so it's, it's decent. I like it. Um, if it was me personally, I would actually bring the wood floors from the from the high traffic areas all the way in here to the bedroom. Just my opinion, but it's really up to you as the buyer, which is, is whatever you want. So, okay, here's the closet. What I'll do, I'll bring the shelving all the way around so we can maximize storage space in here. Okay, it's your closet. Okay. Me just this camera. <laughs> All right, so let me get you another good feel of this bedroom. Okay. All right, so one more good feel of this bedroom. Bedroom number one. Guest bedroom number one. All right, let's move on to the next bedroom. Down the hall. And I like this right here. You could probably put like a little little table or like a little linen closet or something like here. That's really nice. I'll put, hang some nice pictures on the walls and everything. But anyway, here's your other bedroom. Guest bedroom number two. Um, let me turn around so y'all can get a good feel for this room. Let me turn slowly. Alright. There's your ceiling. It's your floor. I hope you can see that. It's your closet right there. And again, the blue carries over into the blue walls carries over into the bedroom with this dark wood trim. Now, if you don't like that, if you don't like any of the colors that you see here in this house, remember you can change it out. This is your house. So you do what you want with it. 
Okay. Another pan in this bedroom. You know, if you, you know, if you don't need this as a kid's room or anything like that, you can use it as an office or even a YouTube studio like I would do. And you have your uh, guest bedroom closet, number two closet right here. So, very, very nice. All right, no, one more pan. One more pan in this room. Sorry about the glare. All right, so let's move on. Let's go check out the master. Let's go check out the master bedroom. I love these wood floors right here. These floors are very, very nice. Absolutely love them. Okay, so let's go check out the master bedroom. The, the Chargers master bedroom. Uh, before we do, here's the utility room. Let's check out the utility room real quick. Oh, this is a nice utility room. All right, let me turn around. Here's your, here's your door with the window. Okay. You have a place for your washer and dryer hookup right here. You have two places for, you can hang your clothes right here and you have some storage space. Or if you wanted to have all cabinets, I'm sure you can do that. Pretty sure you can do that option. Let's check out the cabinet. Very, very, very gorgeous. All right, here's your sink. I love this soaker sink. See, this is a plus right here, especially you have to soak clothes and that kind of stuff. Very, very deep sink. You see how deep my hand goes? Very, very deep. I love it. Okay, sure. Here's your utility room. Right here, you have your air, air conditioner and heater. And you have your water heater access right there. Very, very nice. All right, let's go check out the master real quick. Let me give you one more pan of this utility room. I want y'all to see it real good. Okay, let's go check out the master. Here's your master bedroom. Very big. Okay. Let me stand over here so y'all can get a good feel for it. Oh, whoops, Daisy. <laughs> and don't worry about that. This is the, this is the rest of the stuff that comes with the house. See, when they deliver your brand new manufactured homes to your site, it come, the house already becomes ninety percent done. This is the other ten percent that they have to put together. So, anyway, this is your room. Very nice master bedroom. And even has the um, the wood trim throughout the ceilings as well. I can see putting in like a nice king size bed, California king. Very, very nice. I'll put some nice curtains or some very nice drapes right there. And put some uh, fox wooden blinds right there in the window. Very nice. Okay, sure closet. Very big closet. Nice size closet. Very nice. You guys see that? He can put all kind of things in here. I don't know. It may just it may just be enough room for my clothes though. <laughs> just enough room for my stuff. All right. Let's check out the master bath. Ooh, this is pretty. Very pretty. Love this. Very pretty. Sorry, guys. Wow, this is nice. You have your master tub right here, your garden tub. It even has a step stool. See that? And you have your window. And as you can see, it has this beautiful shiplap wall. Very nice. You have your commode right here. And let me turn around. You have your transom window up there. 
okay? You also have your shower. Very, very pretty. Wow, this is gorgeous. Look at that, look at that rain shower head. And this is real, this is hand laid tile right here, guys. Hand laid tile, so. There's your bench where you can sit down and do whatever you need to do. Okay. Okay. You have your sink right here. You got double sinks. Again, you have your shiplap wood paneling wall right here. So very, very nice. Hi. Okay, so this is your master bathroom in the charger. All right, so this is, let me take one more good look at this bathroom. All right, so that will conclude this house tour of the charger, three bedroom, two bathroom, double wide. All right, um, again, I'm at um, Wayne Fryer Home Center in McClinney. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit that like button and definitely comment below about anything that you've seen here today. And I will put links down in the description box below about the information that they have here. And unfortunately, they don't have prices posted here, so you would have to contact them, okay? Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this house tour. This is Steven with Divine Mobile Home Central, your central source for mobile home tours and more. I will see you all in the next mobile home house tour.